to my channel. So today's video is pretty in pink. I did do a makeup tutorial for you guys. Totally girly, all pink everything. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm wearing a striped pink and white shirt. My nails are pink, eyes pink, lips pink, no pink blush, everything pink. As you can tell, I'm very girly. So I just feel like I'm on top of the world when I've got this full glam going on. I do wanna let you guys know that I do not have my eyelash extensions on. I've come to the conclusion that eyelash extensions are not for me. I feel like they fell out very quickly. They irritated my eye. I just felt like I was like itching them and scratching them and they were just terrible. Like every time I went to go wash my face, I just felt like the eyelashes would catch all of the products causing my eyes to burn. Such a bummer because I really did feel like I was going to love the eyelash extensions. Ended up not, which is kind of bittersweet because I ain't trying to pay $60 for every refill. Just much rather rock out the false eyelashes that you have to actually apply with the glue. I feel like it works so much better for me because I don't mind putting eyelashes on every day. It would be really appropriate for like a quinceanera or a wedding, something that you feel is very elegant and it's just for the day. I really do wanna try Latisse like I told you guys in my last video. For me personally, I wouldn't recommend them on a regular day basis. But then again, I know lots of girls who love eyelash extensions and it suits them perfectly. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of clarity of what my opinion was on the eyelash extensions. So I don't have them on anymore. I just rocked out some Ardell Wispies. These were from the giveaway that I received from Jessica Anderson. As I mentioned in a couple of my previous videos, I did purchase some Makeup Geek products, Still Glamorous Cosmetics, and then the Beauty Expert Box from Sigma. I would love to share with you guys what those products consisted of because um, I haven't used half of them. Um, I have used the eyeshadows and things like that, um, but I am excited to show you guys. I hope you guys like this look. It's nice and girly. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look today, then just keep watching the video. Thank you. I've already moisturized my face using the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I'm using Rimmel's Stay Matte Primer. As you can see, it does have like a lotion consistency to it, so I do like this. Although I am dry, I do like a matte finish, so I feel like this works great for my skin type. Going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a tapered kabuki brush from Sigma, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. This is going to help the longevity of your eyeshadow just stay on longer as well as get rid of any veins, dark circles, or shadows that are on your eyelid. Okay, so moving on to brows, I'm just going to go ahead and take this wax consistency from the NYC Browser Brush On Brow Kit. I'm just going to go ahead and pop it onto my brows. I like to take the spoolie from my Brow Wiz pencil and go ahead and blend it all out. Okay, so now I'm just going to sculpt out my eyebrows. I like to start with my upper half of my eyebrow and then just kind of go in, sculpt them in a way that is very natural looking. Once I got the base of my shape done, I just go ahead and fill in the blanks. And then once I'm done, just go in with the spoolie and blend it all out. Then I'm going to set my brows using e.l.f.'s Clear Brow Gel. Okay, so taking Lorac's Unzipped Palette in the color Undercover, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. Then I like to blend it out with my fingers. So taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Highlighting Pencil, I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of layers on my lid. This is just really going to brighten up the lids, especially if we're going in with a brighter color, the color pink. Um, it's really going to make the lids pop out and make it look very highlighted. I'm just going to go in and blend it all out with a beauty blender. So just keep on blending, making sure that there are no creases, no harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and grab Undercover and set that product just to make sure that it's extra bright. 
So from my Z palette, I'll be taking the color Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek Cosmetics, and I'm going to go ahead and just put this in the creases of my eye, just working it inner to outer corner. This makes a great transition shade. Taking the color Simply Marlena by Makeup Geek, such a beautiful color. I'm going to go ahead and pat it on the outer creases of my eye and slowly working it back and forth like in windshield wiper motions. I like this color because you can easily pull it off. I'm going to go in with Anastasia's highlighting crayon again and I'm just going to go ahead and pop it onto the places where we've previously done the highlighting. I really want to make sure that this section of the eye is nice and bright. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and steal the brush from the Sante Liquid Eyeliner and just swap it there. I'm going to be using the liquid eyeliner from the NYC brand just to create the perfect winged eyeliner. How many times can I say eyeliner? Um, no, I like the two. The Sante brush really does give you precise lines, which I love. Taking L'Oreal's Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and tight line. So this is going to intensify the look, so just go ahead and put that in your upper waterline. Curl your eyelashes, and since we will be applying false eyelashes today, I'm going to go ahead and put one layer of mascara on. Taking a wet towelette, I'm going to run it underneath my eye to pick up any fallout that may have occurred. Using tweezers and the Duo Eyelash Adhesive to apply my false eyelashes. These are the lashes that I did receive from the giveaway by Jessica Anderson. So when you are applying your lashes, just make sure that you're being patient and very gentle. Those two are crucial. Taking Maybelline Fit Me number 240, this is Golden Beige. I'm going to run it on the areas that are very red on my face. And a lot of times when I do experience those texture blemishes, I like to run that on there as well, just to make it look a lot smoother. I'm using Rimmel's Clean Finish Foundation along with a Kabuki brush. Take the foundation and apply a generous amount of foundation on just to make sure that we get some extra coverage in. When we move on to blending, I like to go in circular motions, tapping motions, just really mix up the motions that you're blending in. This really does call for a flawless complexion. I even go in between the flat top kabuki and then the beauty blender just to make sure everything's nice and blended. I'm going to use MAC Pearl Longwear Concealer to do the highlighting areas on my face. With the under eye, I like to do one at a time just because it can sometimes dry a little quickly. Um, but regardless, it doesn't crease underneath the eye. It's very long wearing and I'm just so in love with this product. Just make sure that it's all blended out. So taking NYC's Smooth Skin Pressed Powder and a Morph Concealer Brush, I'm going to go ahead and set all of that highlighted area underneath the eye. Again, using NYC's Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder just to put some color back into our face. I'm going to chisel out where I want my contoured sections to be. So very lightly go ahead and bronze up the face just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. I'm taking a Morph stippling brush and blending all of that out. At this point, I'm just curling my natural lashes along with the false lashes, lining the band just to make sure that it looks a little more natural. Now this is me being very dramatic, applying four additional coats of mascara. The silver one is going to be L'Oreal's Telescopic Shocking Extensions, one of my favorites. The gold one is L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. This one's called L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And this one's Rimmel's Lash Accelerator, and I like to use this for volume. This is NYX Wonder Pencil. I'm using it on my lower waterline. Taking Simply Marlena, the pink shade, I'm just running it on my lower lash line. 
and taking the 10 color palette professional blush this is from bh cosmetics i'm going to be taking that baby pink color and placing it on the apples of my cheeks Going in with the first Naked palette in the color Virgin, just look at how pigmented it is. Um, it makes such a great color for highlighting. Although it is eyeshadow, I do like to use it as a highlighter, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Again, going in with Anastasia's highlighting crayon, I'm touching up on the actual lid on my eyes. And then once that's all done, I do go back in with the color Simply Marlena, which is the pink color we've been using, and dusting that inner to the outer crease, along with the lower lash line. Moving on to lips, two of my favorite colors. This one's called Girl About Town. And this one is called Rebel. So I did take ELF's Gold Glitter Liquid Eyeliner and I did run it on my lower inner lash line. So I did set my makeup using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray just to make sure that everything is locked and loaded in for the rest of the day. And there you go, pretty and pink.